able to relate to the students and it shows. Students at Woodlake Hills Middle School say they look forward to their class with Monique Jackson. Monique is a CTE teacher or career technology and education teacher at Judson ISD and our KSAC crew had a chance to surprise her with this month's Educator of the Month Award. Educator of the Month brought to you by First Mark Credit Union. Perfect. Once you do that, go ahead and click join class. You're able to relate to the kids. So, I, of course, I can tell them the things that I went through and try to help them to not make those same mistakes. Just having fun with them, being able to sit by me, we have conversations. Raise your hand or give me a thumbs up if you've ever heard of Canva. CTE teacher Monique Jackson has been teaching with Judson ISD for 10 years and she's been at Woodlake Hills Middle School for three years now. And in that time, she has had quite an impact on her students. She's one of the teachers that understands you, like you can tell her anything and like she won't judge you for it. She'll just like understand and try to help you through it. She's a good teacher. She's very nice. She's a very good listener. If you have any like problems at home or at school, you just come to her and she'll help you out with anything. Monique Jackson also shows her support to her students by going to their games. I like to come to some of the students' games when I can and just show that support. Sometimes they may not have mom and dad to go to those games, so I'll be there rooting for them and cheering them on. So it's also exciting for me as well. Yes, join your class through the email. Sign and Monique helps her fellow teachers too. During the pandemic, she created a YouTube channel to help other teachers with technology issues. And now she's running Wildcat News TV on a YouTube channel for her students. All reasons why she's being recognized as KSET's Educator of the Month. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm proud of my, my teacher. Ms. Jackson, my favorite teacher. To be honest, I think she deserves it 100%. She really tries her hardest and she's always prepared for her classes. And she knows how to organize her assignments very well. It's actually an honor and a privilege. You don't expect things like this to happen. You see it on TV all the time, but when it's you, it's like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> so I'm very grateful for this opportunity and blessed. Congratulations, Ms. Jackson. Well deserved. All right, let's take it downtown. The party continues. Oh. Mike's got his cooking gloves on, so we don't. Oh yes, we do. <laughs> Wait till you see what we are cooking. I know it's either you're gonna cook or you're gonna mine something. So. Something. Good. <laughs> anyway, it is beautiful down here. We have got our medals on, and our medal giveaway today is so secret. Uh -huh. We don't even see Jen right we, now. We don't even no. know where she is. And okay, yeah. and we won't find out till you do. And they are so rare. She has one. I don't. I know. I may have a few, Ooh. but I do have ours. You do have your <laughs> ours. Okay. Look what we are cooking. Yes, it is chicken on a stick. Oh, it's and such a good day. Look at that right there. And we've got JJ Gonzalez, Mr. Chicken himself here, and he is gonna pop those right in, right? Well, he is. Yeah. Right? Okay, and of course, chicken on a steak, incredibly popular. Absolutely. The number one fiesta food, yes. Number one. It is its own food group, according to Guinness World Book of Records. That's I right. just made that up, but hey, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We and also we also have fantastic pooches on parade today. I can't wait to see the cuteness. Wait till you see their floats and their outfits. Because, of course, the Pooch Parade is coming up on Saturday. And, of course, we want to see your pictures of your Pooches all dressed up for Fiesta. And we've got some delicious cocktails as well to help uh, wash down that chicken on a stick. And, of course, laughs with Coleto Rodriguez. We'll fill you in. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few. Yay! All right, just a 10 to 20% chance for a stray shower this afternoon. It's going to be warm and humid, 87. But again, overnight tonight, we'll be watching the radar. Broken line of storms is going to be moving through. That may make a bit of a messy commute early tomorrow morning, especially before dawn. But then in the afternoon, it's going to be gorgeous tomorrow, 80 degrees. Humidity returns Friday for Battle of Flowers. Then again, Friday night into Saturday, another round of storms. We'll be keeping an eye on the timing there, as I know a lot of things are going on on Saturday for Fiesta. Now, looking ahead, to next week. It starts off pretty nice, just a little warm. All right, Sarah, we'll keep an eye on it. And we thank you for joining us for the news at noon. I think we've added to the number of chicken on a stick that they sell it. What was it, 30? I know. So they, I know. Come on, people, get yeah. on that. I say live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live.
Hello and happy Wednesday, everybody. We, of course, are right in the middle of Fiesta de los Reyes right here at Market Square. Fiesta continues, and there's a bunch of people back here having a great time. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Oster. And I'm Fiona Garcia, and of course, we love Fiesta, and so many of us get our pets involved in the fun. Yep. So we want to see your Fiesta pet pictures. Go ahead and share them at SA Live Pace out on uh, Facebook and Twitter, and we might. Uh, oh, in fact, here's one, and you know, Aww. you know who that, whose dog that was. That was Sarah. Well, Sarah's two dog. beautiful children and Schnauzers. I have a feeling that was Jen's kids and her dogs. And look at these other ones there. Isn't that they Robert? Robert's. Oh, oh, and there's there's Cash and Savvy. Yep. So yep. It's like a Mutt and Jeff type thing with it Cash and Savvy totally going on is. there. So. Aww. Uh, on Facebook and Twitter, we will love to see them. Well, of course, Niosa is going on, started last night and continues this evening. And there are so many delicious food options, but one specific booth has some of the longest lines every year, created a phenomenon here in the Alamo City. JJ Gonzalez, the chairman and El Jefe, or Mr. Chicken himself, San Antonio's original chicken on a stick is here because it's not Fiesta without you. Sir. That's correct. It absolutely. is not. Okay. Like he said earlier, it's its own food group because it we is. say so. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> ah, All yes. right. So what's it like to be the original chicken on a stick, the one that started this whole craze? I tell you what, it, it, it first of all, it never gets tired. You, you, you don't ever get tired of being that. And uh, it's so much fun. Uh, I, we couldn't, the machine wouldn't work without our, our loyal uh, volunteers and my co-chairs <laughs> that uh, headed up with me. Um, but I tell you what, it, it's a lot of fun. It's the San Antonio vibe. It's the Fiesta vibe, the Neosa vibe. Uh -huh. And that's what sets us apart. How did You're this all hard. get started? <laughs> I think it was like a Friday afternoon, Mike, and they were like, well, what else can we do here different at IOSA? And uh, they were like, well, let's just put a fried chicken on a stick and let's adorn it with a jalapeno. And it, it's so simple, but it's just so, so good. Right? That's correct. Okay. okay. Now, now is there a way to eat it? Actually, yeah, there is. I know that uh, everybody behind the booth, the way we do it, we take a bite of the chicken. Okay. Right? He's on we, it. We take off the jalapeno, we take a bite of that. <laughs> I'm so glad this is And you. before okay. the juice falls on the floor, we drench oh. our, our... There you ah. go. That's the way to do it. And then we finish it off, taking bite after bite and repeat. Okay, so while he's Talk enjoying that... Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> while he's enjoying that, uh, people may not know, but they can get the original chicken on a stick even after Fiesta, right? Yeah, we do. We have a... Uh, so during Neo, so we are Mr. Chicken. Uh, after, you know, available for parties and weddings and quinces, things like that, we are uh, Fiesta, uh, Fiesta Chicken SA. So that's when we take it on the road. Okay. And how long have you been making uh, chicken with Niosa? Uh, we're actually celebrating 10 years this year. So yay years. us. So how many of these do you go through yeah. in Niosa? Oh gosh. You know, Mike, to be quite honest with you, that's such a tricky question because you know, I mean, when the, unfortunately when the pandemic hit, you know, we really didn't sell that. But when everything was cool and everybody was coming back and ready to party and give back to San Antonio the way they do, I mean, we go through, gosh, I'm going to say up to 20, 20,000 plus. So for, for those waiting in line for their chicken on a stick, do you have any tips for them while they're waiting in line? I'll tell you what, if you're there with your significant other, one of you go get the drinks, one of you go get another food while you're waiting. But I'll tell you what, you're not going to wait. The, the typical wait time is about six to eight minutes. That's even though the I, even though the line looks it's eight tickets. <laughs> six to six to eight minutes for this. Okay, six what, minutes. what's the secret behind it? Because there must be something that makes it so so unique. Right? You know what? Really, no huge secret. Uh, I will tell you that there's a lot of people out there that won't or afraid to eat it because they think it's peanut oil, something right. like that. But I tell you what, um, we put a smile on a young lady a few years back who waited in line every year with her mom and never got to eat one. And I told her, well, we don't use regular, we use soybean oil. So because of that, you know, she was able to enjoy it, you know, and I, I promise you when I tell you, she walked out of the line, tears in her eyes, and she loved the chicken. Wow. What, this is so moist and juicy in there, so that great breading, and the secret behind the breading is... You know, uh, 
There is no secret. It's very simple. You know what I mean? Comes frozen. We deep fry it with Nyosa love, and we serve it out to all the mass. Mm. Okay. Oh. You could put the same I thing know. between a bun, and nobody <laughs> would touch it. But because it's on a stick, that's right. And it's kind of like it's almost like eating out of the pot. Yeah. You know, Mom absolutely. said, "Don't do that. Put it on your plate. <laughs> it tastes better like that." That's right. It just mm -hmm. tastes better in this setting, in Nyosa setting, right? Yes. Right. Other than chicken on a stick, your favorite fiesta food. My favorite fiesta food are the, uh, it's the Anticuchos. Uh, they're Which located are? at Neosa uh -huh. and it's around the, uh, um, the La Vita Assembly Hall. But all they are, it's, it's, a, it's on a stick uh -huh. and it's four pieces of meat, wonderfully christened in whatever they use. Uh -huh. And it is absolutely amazing. Wow, oh, we're gonna have to try that. But yeah, I those are good. The, the I wonder what people would rather have, okay. an essay live nettle or chicken on a stick? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. I'm, 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 Man, you're no, a natural that, at this, tough. Mike. <laughs> okay, this year is the 75th anniversary. Of course, of Nyosa, you can enjoy the festival tonight through Friday night at La Vita. For more information, just go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Thank you so much. Mr. And it is every bit as good as you described. And I love the juice on there with the jalapeno. Great little tip. Love that. So, all right. Two more days of metal giveaway. Speaking of metals, there on SA Live, and today and tomorrow. Now, Jen is ready to reveal the super secret location. Secret, secret, secret. Jen, where are you? <laughs> I like how you guys whisper. Where is it, Jen? Yes. Well, I'll give you a hint. This group offers healing, hope, and a home for children and families. Have you guessed where I am yet? All right, I'll tell you. I'm at SJRC Texas, located at 8918 Tesoro Drive on the north side, not too far from the airport. And out here with me is CEO Tara Rousset. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! And happy birthday. I hear it's your birthday. Thank you, it is. What a great way to celebrate your birthday. Wow, the whole month of fiesta, like fiesta, right? Uh, yes, and having an event like this to celebrate the day is fantastic. We're so excited to be here. So tell me about this excitement you have going, because it seems like you have a party back here. We have a fiesta back here. We have the Texas Corvette Association. We have food trucks. We have medals. We have food and fun and friendly people to come see. A lot of things to come out here and enjoy. The cars are beautiful and you also have some raffle prizes. So you're giving away your medal. You have your medal too and then we have ours. That's going to happen at two o'clock. But what else can people get when they they can get at vintage medals that we have with KSET 12 swag, SGRC swag, t-shirts, again, Corvettes. They can take pictures with some really fancy cars and just multiple ways to fiesta with us today. All right. And then our medal giveaway starts at 2 p.m. So there's a limited amount. Keep that in mind. We have a limited amount, and I'm sure you guys have a limited we amount. do, too. They better come quick. <laughs> They're going to go fast. <laughs> All right. So be sure to get here. You have plenty of time. We've given you the heads up to come on down here. And again, that location is at 8918 Tesoro, Tesoro Drive on San Antonio's north side near the airport. So come on down. Again, a limited amount, y'all. Mike, Fiona, back to you. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> and people are going to be gathered out there. A little yes. bit warm out there, Jen. And by the way, we have chicken on a stick. We do. We still do. Still ahead on yeah. SA Live. I'm jealous. <laughs> Need a way to unwind midweek where you can enjoy a night of great food and lots of laughs. But first, wagons, costumes, and the cutest parade riders you have ever seen. Look at that face. What you need to know about this year's Pooch Parade, and we're giving you a little inspiration if you're not sure how you want to dress up your pup this year. That's next. And tomorrow night is the 85th Battle of Flowers Band Festival. It's the oldest and longest running marching band festival in the country. The broadcast will be once again hosted by Mike and I. It will be streaming live on KSAT.com, KSAT Plus, and KSAT's YouTube page starting at 6.30 p.m. And you can also see it when it rebroadcasts on KSAT 12 this Saturday, the 29th, from 2 to 5 p.m. And if you'd like to see it live, Please go out there. You've never seen anything like all those kids on that field. Tickets are on sale now. And just a reminder, Alamo Stadium has a clear bag policy. Don't go anywhere. More SA Live is on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. We'll get your wagons ready, your walking shoes on, and your doggy treats packed. The Pooch Parade is back. Look at that. I, that's not excitement for the Pooch Parade. I don't know what is. <laughs> Randy Lawson, treasurer for Therapy Animals of San Antonio, is here to help us get ready for Fiesta's arguably most adorable event. Welcome, welcome. Who do you have there? This is our 2023 Fiesta Pooch Parade King and Barkio, also known as Happy Happy Hazel. 
Oh my goodness. And so how did Hazel become king and Barkio and what will be some of the royal duties? Duties, huh? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Okay. So Hazel is a six-year-old French bulldog. Her primary focus is helping kids on their journey through grief. So she has volunteered since 2018 at the Children's Bereavement Center and she's made over 750 therapeutic visits. Oh wow. What? And during the parade, she will be in the float, in the first float, leading the parade. Oh. And we have a little bit of a parade going on behind us right now. How many different entrants are in this parade this year? We expect to see about 800 entrants in the parade this year. 800? 800. 800. Wow. And, I, not and I thought Battle of Flowers had a lot of you entries in Flambeau. You did not know that not answer <laughs> What? <laughs> and when, where, all the, all the details on it. This year's Pooch Parade is this Saturday, April 29th. It is, starts in the Alamo Heights pool, uh, the pool house, excuse me, mm -hmm. on 250 Viesca Street. It starts at, well, I'm sorry, 745, the gates open, 815, the costume contest starts, and then 915, the parade will start. Okay, okay, speaking of some of the costumes, and our next pooch that comes around, if you can stop and show off your costume, and who is she wearing? <laughs> yes. So this is Daisy. Daisy is going to be in one of our five categories. So we have most creative, top dog, uh, most best matched, human and dog pair, we also have Best Fiesta Flair, and then of course you can't have a canine costume contest without Best in Show. So Best in Show is announced at the end. Oh, oh my Oh, goodness. interesting. And I love the shoes. I know. And oh, then we crazy. have this beautiful little one right here. But she's also a therapy dog, isn't it? This is Scout. Scout is not only a therapy dog, but she's also one of our crisis response dogs. And she is our King and Barkio in waiting. Scout oh. is a seven-year-old golden retriever. She does a lot of work with the uh, courthouse and then with our Story Tales reading program. Okay. If you come out to the parade on Saturday, she will be at the selfie booth, so stop by and take a picture with Scout. Oh, wonderful. And, and then we also have another beautiful one here in the back, the standard poodle. Mm -hmm. And this is El Ray. This is our standard poodle, one of the contestants for the pooch parade. And of course, the pooch parade is Highly incredibly adorned. important, right, to therapy animals of SA. It is. So we are providing services to San Antonio and 13 surrounding counties and have been since 1989. We currently have over 60 therapy teams. Um, we do not charge for the services. We are 100% volunteers. And the funding that we get comes through dues, donations, and our primary fundraiser each year, which is the Fiesta Pooch Parade. If somebody has a dog that is very even-tempered and would maybe like to get involved in the dog becoming a therapy dog, how would they go about doing that? Con cont contacting you? Absolutely. So you can go to our website, therapyanimalssa.org. We definitely need more teams. We're seeing an increase in the number of incidences that we're replying to. Uh, we're also responding to a lot of uh, critical incidents at the schools and we've done a lot of work in Uvalde. So you can make donations or if you're interested in becoming a therapy team as long as your dog is obedient, mm -hmm. has a good temperament and does well around a variety of people and medical equipment then you should check it out on the site and be in contact. Okay well we're gonna move out here so we can get a nice little uh, class picture of all the pooches right there and don't forget the uh, parade is coming up this Saturday pooch parade the 29th gates open at 745 costume contest followed by parade through Alamo Heights and of course for more information we'll our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Plus, this year, the entire Pooch Parade will stream live on ksat.com and ksat+. Plus. It will be hosted by ksat 12's Lee Waldman, and you'll see all the cute costumes and wonderful wagons right from your home. And this year, our coverage is powered by Lucy's Doggy Daycare. Our Jen Tobias Stresky went down to Lucy's to get some tips on taking your pups to Fiesta. If you're looking to bring your furry friends to the Fiesta Fun, we have some helpful tips for you today so they can enjoy the party with a purpose too. I'm here with Hannah Schneider at Lucy's Doggy Daycare. Hannah, you have some tips for us who are taking our fur babies with us to Fiesta. What are those? Absolutely. <laughs> so our number one core value at Lucy's is safety. So we have a few safety tips to keep your pups safe out enjoying the Fiesta festivities. So tip number one we would say is make sure your pup has access to fresh drinking water at all times and mm -hmm. keep them hydrated. Okay, very important. <laughs> yes. Tip number two, we would say to check the temperature of the ground they're standing on mm -hmm. to ensure they don't burn their paws from any of the Texas heat. Yes. 
Yes, that could be dangerous, right? Sometimes people don't realize how yeah. hot that is. Yes. Hot. yes. And tip number three would just be to ensure that their collars and harnesses are fitted securely and correctly to ensure that they stay on a leash in order to keep them safe and everyone else around them safe as well. All right, and don't let them get too close to people's, you know, walking around with drinks yes, and food, and food. right? They All might get too. a little taste of that party. Yeah, <laughs> then we take some snacks as well. And mm. um, people can come here for boarding, doggy daycare. Yes. Anything else you want to mention? Grooming as well. Okay. We do daycare, boarding, and grooming. Perfect. All right, Hannah, thank you so much for more information. Where can they go? Lucy's doggy daycare.com. Perfect. Three locations in San Antonio. Still ahead on SA Live. It's one of your last chances to get a free SA Live Fiesta medal. We're going to check in with Jen before the medal madness begins. A lot of folks are out there. And next, cheers to Fiesta. We're showing you a creative cocktail recipe for your big weekend parties. It's straight ahead on SA Live. And don't miss the Battle of Flowers Parade after party hosted by us, SA Live, this coming Friday, of course. We're going to have two special guests who are joining us for some wild fiesta fun. Of course, SA Live style. And the games like the Pinata Challenge, the Coscarones Challenge, and the dreaded Ooze Challenge. You need to see it to believe it. Anything can happen when it's live this Friday around 1 p.m. after the Battle of Flowers Parade right here in Market Square. More SA Live is on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this is kind of an understatement, but Fiesta is known for being a little bit over the top, even, of course, with its cocktails. <laughs> yes. Lillian Oler from Assemble Cocktail Workshop is here to show us a fun and creative drink for your Fiesta party. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Viva Fiesta. Love yes, your drinks. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. What are we making? All right. We're going to make a hibiscus margarita um, as well as a ginger peach mocktail. So the mocktail is going to have, um, I'm going to have him start working on it. We have the Ritual Zero Proof Tequila. So there's no alcohol in this for those who can't consume, don't want to consume and alcohol. We were trying to figure out how do they do non-alcoholic tequila? You know, it's a secret. They will not it, tell me, but I do enjoy like having it on tequila. hand for all of my workshops. Uh, yeah. So just a goodly little... Yeah, you thing. can measure if you wanted. There is a jigger there, but we can eyeball. It's not like you're going to overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. So, okay, and then you also use tea, right? Yes, it's a brewed ginger um, peach tea. So we'll just do a little glug glug, and then okay. some peach nectar can go in there. And you'll go ahead and use some. Oh, I don't have we, ice. Is this a up or is it on the rocks? Or we're going to be using um, this bag here to crush some ice. We don't have um, an ice crusher. And then we're going to. Fiona, I'm gonna have you crush some oh ice here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. So Stand go ahead back and hit the ice bag here. Don't. Are you picturing my face on there right now? You'll never know what I was picturing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how she did. Yes, I'm sure it's just right. You go ahead and yes, dump that into your shaker. The ice is pulverized. Yes. <laughs> okay, that is so cool. All right, then we'll go ahead and sh combine and shake, and then we'll go ahead and pour straight on into that tall Collins glass with a tahini rim. Okay, and tell us about Assemble Cocktail. So Assemble Cocktail Workshop is a little project that I started. Um, we host parties um, for date nights, girls' night out, team building, um, and Corporate events, yes, Ginger pour that on, on in, okay. top it off. Um, you'll also just garnish with some mint there. Um, and so basically we just want to teach people how to make cocktails, get them being interactive. You know, it's so easy just to go um, out to eat and sit around the table and just talk and, and eat. We want to get people busy. Ooh, keep that's them, nice. Keep them learning new things. I love the, the peach and the, the mango in there and the ginger beer kind of yeah. combined. That's a great little combination. So. Awesome. Okay. okay. All What's right. Thor going to make over here? All right. <laughs> We're going to borrow the yeah. shaker tin over here. So you're going to be also using a different type of tea syrup that we made. Okay. Um, this is a hibiscus tea syrup. And you'll also be using the real deal tequila okay. here. So I have some reposado um, and grapefruit and lime. And so if we could just have that jigger over here, we will oh, want to oh, measure this jigger. one. Okay. Yeah, we've so got to make sure we're balanced here. Um, so you're going to start with um, two ounces of tequila. Okay. And no, you use, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, you use a lot of tea in these because uh, not only for flavor, but a good yep. reason for it too, right? Yeah, you can control the sugar when you're brewing with tea or making, you know, an infused spirit with tea. You can just impart so much flavor and not too much sugar. Half an ounce of that there. That's lime juice. Okay. 
because there's already oh. so much sugar in alcohol okay, anyway, go. so why not save exactly. a couple of calories? Okay. And then you'll use one ounce of the hibiscus syrup and one ounce of the grapefruit juice. And all yeah. these little decorations here, well, so what do we so got here? We have dehydrated pineapple here. If you'd like to infuse your spirit or infuse a syrup, dehydrated pineapple is a great way to use up your leftover produce yes. um, and impart quite oh. a bit of flavor. Oh, you need some ice, ice. don't you? Yes. Yes. I was, what you, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. It was there right there. There we go. Me. We'll go ahead and combine and shake. Pop it in here. Um, and so you can impart a lot of flavor into your cocktails with dehydrated fruit by removing that water. It's a very concentrated flavor. Okay. And if somebody wants to take classes, you've got classes in all sorts of different cocktail magic, right? Yes. We have several different themes ongoing. Here, Fiona, I'm going to have you go ahead and add a bubble there. So just pull that trigger and drop a bubble right over the top. Pull this trigger. Uh -huh. Watch this. This okay. is really cool. It's Fiesta. Oh we can go Oh my over. gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Cool. And you're yes, located so in Bernie. We are located in Bernie, uh, right downtown, and our um, ongoing themed workshops, we have a Brunch Essentials, we have a Tiki in Texas, we have a tequila themed workshop, so check out the website and look at that schedule, because we got a lot coming up, going on. Date night, girls night, something like that. Yep, corporate team Wonderful. building too, that's a lot of fun. Lillian, thank you very much. For more information on Assemble Cocktail Workshop, go to our website, SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. Next on SA Live, take a midweek break and have some laughs where you can enjoy a night of great food and some of San Antonio's best comedians. You don't want to miss this. great drinks and you know where we're at? We are here at Meet Familia at the Rim with comedian Coletta Rodriguez. And the man behind all the food himself, Gerardo Carvajal. Yes. Hey, thank you for <laughs> all being the here. action in the kitchen. All the it's action. Gerardo, okay? I like the way it Oh, yes. Well, when you got these gloves on, I don't you love just, that. You're like, you welcome just to Vegas, like this, everybody. Right? Okay. So, what are we making? Uh, we're doing some magic today. We are doing the nixtamalization of the corn. Okay, you know, okay. We have, uh, this is the corn on the green stage. We have corn here, different types of corn. There's a dry. So today we're gonna be working with blue corn. We got a little bit of water in here. And the nixtamalization uh, is a process of cooking the corn. Here we have a uh, cal, which is calcium hydroxide. We're gonna mix it really well. We're gonna add this to the to the uh, corn. That's what I've been missing at home. Because otherwise, you can cook this without the can. It will never get cooked. Yeah, so I know what that. it is is a chemical reaction. You're gonna see the corn kind of change colors almost immediately. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring this to boil. Cook it for about a few minutes, and when we let it set for at least 12 hours or overnight. Oh, oh my. <laughs> we oh, have a friend back. here. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's back. Frank's back. Good old Frank's Frank. Frank's back. Okay. <laughs> and so we have the, the final product here after 12 hours. Now we're going to drain it. And then it was um, Cleto as soon as he finished. <laughs> Okay, uh, you want me to hold Frank? Okay, I'll hold Frank. Oh, by and the and way, and how are these doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so I put all this stuff right in here? Yes, sir. Into the grinder? In the grinder. All right. You... All right. Okay. And then just yeah. grind away, huh? Yeah, just keep it going, sir. <laughs> <laughs> is anything happening? I'm starting an automobile here, Fiona. <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there, there it is. is. There, there it is. is. There it is. Wow, just that much came out? I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> okay. All right, so while he's grinding, okay. So we have I feel one like here. should be singing. <laughs> it's okay, Clint, I got your back. We've got okay. it right here. Okay, how are these doing? We're going to add, the, they're doing really well. Okay. Just doing there. Okay. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of water to what Cleto is doing right now, and okay. this is going to make the masa. Okay. And we just added uh, water currently. You want this to be like a Play-Doh or something like that. Okay. You know? And we're going to shape this into gorditas into the comal okay. for about five, 10 minutes. Okay. We have a few of here that already done. I'm making done. more masa, Fiona. Okay. <laughs> I'm making more masa. <laughs> and, come on, Cleto, you got it already. <laughs> oh my And we goodness. have carne guisada here. 
I feel sorry for whoever has to grind this. Oh okay, my let me goodness. Get you a plate. Okay. Plato. Hey, you don't have a blender back there, Gerardo? Woo! Uh, that will not work on a blender, sir. <laughs> okay. All right, so take a break from grinding. All right. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> that old school stuff right there. I know y'all like to keep it real here, but man, that is for real. Listen, okay, I, got, I, got, I got I got my Frank, I hold Frank. Are you sure you hold yeah. Frank? Okay, and I'll hold, hold this. Frank. Oh, and then you've got to hold this too. Oh, all right, okay. sounds good. So, of course, plenty of food and drinks to be had at Comedy Night with Cleto next Wednesday night. That's right absolutely here. right. I'll be actually headlining myself, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Frank might make an appearance in the guest spot. So you want to come back and say, say here, Frank, <laughs> how you doing there, buddy? Come on, try my gordita. <laughs> Again, come on out next Wednesday. Every other Wednesday we do this, and uh, it's been a fun uh, collaboration with Mi Familia here at the Rim, so I'm very excited about All right, thank you so much. And for more information on Mi Familia here at the Rim and La Familia Cortez, as well as Leto Rodriguez, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> All right, the fun continues out here at SJRC, where our medal giveaway is set to begin at 2 p.m. Now, it comes with all the goodies. We got some tacos from La Prepa Food Truck here. Look at those. Oh, my gosh, those look amazing. And we're continuing with some fun giveaways. All right, Rory's going to call the number. Listen up, everybody. 482-009. You won a prize! Woo! All right, we got somebody over there. When we come back, we'll talk more with SJRC and learn what they are all about. Party and watch the Battle of Flowers Parade with your favorite KSAT anchors. Tickets are on sale now, and there's only a limited amount to get yours. Just scan the QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Stay with us. More SA Live is on the way. Welcome back. Well, today's secret SA Live Fiesta Metal giveaway is going to be starting in just a few minutes. It's SJRC Texas. That's at 8918 Tesoro Drive. And of course, that's where our Jen Tobias Trusky is right now. And Jen, I have a strange suspicion that mm -hmm. there's a lot of excitement going on out there right now. Yeah, how about a big Viva Fiesta? Ready? Three, two, one. Viva Fiesta! everybody yes all right the crowd we're gonna start handing out medals at 2 p.m. and we're here at SJRC so that's near the airport and back out here with me is CEO Tara Rosette hello Tara hello again so the fun is continuing out here more people showing up right? yes we have a lot of people showing up we're looking forward to more all right well let's talk about your mission and how you help children and families at SJRC Texas, we are taking care of over a thousand kids and families every single day to help them to thrive and heal and have a safe, loving home. And what are some of the programs that you offer for those who aren't aware? We have a child placing agency with licensed foster homes in our community. We have a prevention department. We have a whole department of people that are doing reunification work, kinship work, really just everything that we can to build around healthy families because we believe that healthy families means healthy communities. Got it. And how do you get the community involved? There are so many ways to get involved. Our website at sjrctexas.org has so many ways people can volunteer, donate, be a mentor to a child. A young adult going out into adulthood needs help and support. So there's so many ways that the community can wrap around the work that we all do. You obviously have a nice, great big team out here. Tell me how they all come together to work with this mission. We on have, this mission. Yes, we have the most incredible team, about 300 strong, that are doing everything that they can to support families and, and kids to make sure that they're safe and that they are reaching permanency as quick as possible. They're all, they, this team is 24-7, 365, around the clock. They don't stop for our kids and families, and we welcome the community to join that. And I noticed the Corvettes over there, so you have a nice partnership as well with this club. Tell me about that. Again, it takes a community to do the work that we do, and the Texas Corvette Association is such a strong part of our community. They show up for our kids. They bring out their, their Corvettes. We just finished our car show, the Texas Corvette Association Car Show, which is an official Fiesta event. We had that on Saturday. They come, they've taken our kids in their Corvettes to baseball games. They show up on Christmas morning to give them presents and love. I mean, they are just an incredible group. 
and you can see right over here, look at all this, say hi everybody. <laughs> yes, and those beautiful cars over there. And so you can come get a picture even next to them. But you guys also have some raffle prizes that we gave away earlier. Um, what else are you giving away out here for those who maybe missed it in the first interview? I know that KSET 12 is giving away vintage medals and raffles and uh, food and t-shirts, all sorts of things. I'll have to come out and see what we have. So you saw those tacos we had earlier. There's also some other goodies back here. A oh, great crowd, right, everybody? <laughs> All right, once again, today's Secret SA Live Fiesta Metal Giveaway is at SJRC Texas at 8918 Tesoro Drive. That's on the north side, not far from the airport. We're going to start handing out medals at 2 p.m. There is a limited amount, so come get in line. Now you still have time and get a medal and have some fun. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Boy, there's a ton of people right? out there, Jen. I know, how wow. exciting. I know. Love it. Thank you. Yes, it's a good time. And next on SA Live, an early autism diagnosis can change your child's future. How one group is making sure families get the help they need faster and making appointments easier. Don't go anywhere. April is Autism Acceptance Month, and today we have a San Antonio local who's joining us doing important work in healthcare for our community to help children with autism and their families. Kayla Wagner, who is the CEO of As You Are, welcome. Okay, Thank tell you. us a little bit about as you are. As you are is a team of physicians trained to evaluate children when there's a question of autism. So we want parents to know that if they have concerns about the way their child's developing, how they interact with other children, how they play, that we have a team of doctors ready to answer their questions. Now, is this different than, because I know a lot of people will say when raising a child, it's like, well, the book says, you know, the book I read and all that, because all kids are, are different, but right. parents sometimes know, right? And this also reassures them too, right? Absolutely. It's so important for parents to get answers. It can help them more fully understand their child. It can help them best support and parent their child. And so our team of physicians in three virtual appointments will help them understand if their child has autism or if a diagnosis is different than that and get them started on their treatment journey. And I guess the, starting that treatment journey as early as possible uh, is the best thing to do, correct? Absolutely. It is critical to get started with intervention services very early in development. A child's brain is always developing when they're as young as before preschool. And so what we want to do is get them started with services in their community to really help them thrive. And this can be done virtually? That Absolutely. seems odd that you can do a medical diagnosis like that virtually. Absolutely. There's been very new research on telehealth in autism diagnostics. Experts in this space created tools that can be applied via telehealth, via virtual visits. And so everything we do is actually in the comfort of, the, of their own home. The child is in their natural environment and very comfortable. Which, when you think about it that way, that seems to make, make the most sense. So what are some of the, the main questions that parents usually come to you with? Well, you know what? The parents are often watching their child, right? They watch them play, interact. They watch their social development and they sometimes have questions. It's okay to have questions. What we want parents to know is that it's really important not to wait to get answers. Okay. And then also this is sort of a reinsurance that if uh, there is some sort of a learning difficulty or autism and you start the early diagnosis and early treatment, it's not the end of the world, right? Oh, we think that all children are wonderful. And a diagnosis is really just language to help us understand exactly what that child needs to best support them. It, it can change the trajectory of their life if they get started early. And then also parents know that there's somebody out there that they can maybe use as a sounding board, right? Exactly. Our team is, is here to talk with them. It's, it's really just three simple virtual visits all through telehealth in which they can get their questions answered. They can talk to our doctors. What inspired you to get involved? You know, I, I was watching the wait times for an autism evaluation. They are very long. In our community here in San Antonio, children are waiting months or years to get an evaluation. Really? And so I knew that I had to do something to change this. Everything we do can reach any child anywhere. That long, wow. What would be maybe your number one tip for, for families? I want parents to know that we can answer their questions. We, we think that a, a diagnosis is the first step in a journey to really help children. And, and we're here. We're here for them. We, it's okay to ask questions. We'll get them answers. Okay. Well, once again, you, As You Are does virtual autism diagnostic evaluations for kids. You can find more information on the website, asyouare.com, or give them a call at 866-219-8595. And be sure to follow them on social media at Seen As You Are. Caleb, thank you very much. Thank you.
you. Tomorrow on SA Live, we head over to a 35-year-old panaderia on the south side that's putting a fiesta twist on cinnamon rolls, and we learn how to make the pastry and why this bakery is so unique. Plus, fiesta clothing, accessories, art, if you can wear it or put it in your home, they have it. And you'll be supporting artisans in Mexico with your purchase. That and a whole lot more tomorrow at 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All right, earlier we asked you to send in those fabulous Fiesta pet pictures, and here they come. That is, of course, <laughs> Sarah's fabulous dog. All right, from Jane, handsome hunter wants a siesta after fiesta. Everybody does. Me at fiesta, dachshund dash. Oh, look at that. He looks worn out. From Gina, Coco Chanel, and El Ray. We know El Ray. Yes, we do. And Paco says, Viva Fiesta. Be smart, party safe. Boy, you can't hardly find the dog in that picture. <laughs> Sandra says, Oh, Mike, chilling watching SA Live. Viva Fiesta. Oh, look at how cute you look, Mike. Thank you very much. That's before I shave in the morning. So, And Roxy and her Fiesta dress. That's great, Gina. Love that one. All, All right. right. Speaking of Fiesta, one of our last two medal giveaways is about to begin at 8918 Tesoro Drive at SJRC Texas. Jen is there. Hey, Jen. That's right. Take a look at this dog right here. See? He's ready for Fiesta, right? Oh, so cute. All right, again, SJRC located at 8918 Tesoro Drive. We're continuing with some raffle prizes. Go ahead, guys. They're going to pull a number here. All right, let's see who's... 482002. Okay, we're going to continue the fun out here. The giveaway starts at 2 p.m. Back to you, Fiona Mike. One more medal giveaway, and don't forget our Battle of Flowers after show on Friday. That's right.